Hello, my name is Amelia Renee. Today I'm going to show you how I installed these butterfly locks or distress locks, whichever you want to call it. It's so cute. Okay, but before I show you how I install it, let me show you the items that I used to achieve this hairstyle. So I used the Free Trust Water Wave Crochet Hair and I used six packs. Again, six packs, nail glue, crochet needle, edge control, any edge control of your choice. I just use Style Factors Boost Edge Control. My DIY Whip Shea Butter, the jar is halfway empty, and my DIY Hair Growth Oil. Links to both of these videos will be down in the description box below. And lastly, some mousse. I use Tresemme Extra Hold Mousse. Okay, so let's get into this hairstyle. Since the hair already comes sectioned off, I'm going to take two sections of the hair. And to separate it, start at the bottom, both sides. Then work my way up the top. To make sure the hair is separated, look a little messy. So this is how the first piece look after I made it messy. This is how it look out the pack. I'm gonna do the same thing to this piece of hair. Start at the bottom. Then I'll work my way up the top. Then I'm going to put all the pieces together, like, to make it one. On my edges, I'm going to use some Boost Style Factor Edge Control. And just to make sure my hair is nice and moisturized while I was in this protective hairstyle, use some of my DIY Whip Shea Butter. i got to make some more. And I'm going to start with a braid or a plait. Plait down a few times. And then I'm going to start to twist it all the way to the end. You can keep braiding all the way down if you like. But for me it's easier to take out a twist once it's time to take this hairstyle out. Versus plait, a little plait like this, it would take forever. Alright. So, since my natural hair is pretty much longer than the bob length that I want to achieve, I'm just going to take my crochet needle. And not at the root, but a little bit down, I'm going to crochet my twist. To my hair. It's my hair now. Going to take the hair that I already separated and crochet it So I'll make one side shorter around the left of the lock that I want. So maybe a, like right here. Take the other hair, the longer piece, and you start to wrap. So you want to wrap around the scalp or the top of the lock a few times. A little tight, not too tight, but. Alright, so I did that. So here go the distress part. So I use my thumb to hold the whole piece of hair up out of place. 
I have to scrunch the hair up to make sense. And then I go back around. Try to go under. See what I just did? And since it's distressed, this hair might get tangled a bit. So just make sure you keep your scissors handy just in case you want to need to cut a little piece off. I think this is the lift that I need or I want. Well, matter of fact, when I get to the bottom, the hair that I was twisting around, I want to separate it and get a smaller piece of it. It's just a smaller piece. Wrap that around. Take all of this hair and fold it in half. With this piece, I'm going to go and start to roll upward. Then I'm going to take the nail glue add a little nail glue if you have super glue that's fine too twist it around the nail glue that's it you can either cut this extra hair off so I've did it both ways I've have I have done it both ways I cut the extra hair off and then I also take the extra hair and I can wrap it back up the lock. And that is it. I'm going to show you two more times. My hair is already twisted. I also did some of my locks with just one piece of hair or two pieces. So it just depends on what I felt like doing that particular time. In the front and the crown part, I've been using two pieces of hair. And then at the bottom and the back, I'm going to use one piece of hair. So right now I'm going to use one piece of hair just to show you how to look if you just want to use one piece of hair. At first, I was a little scared to use two pieces because I don't like my hair to be um, heavy. I can feel a difference in the weight of my hair when I started to use the two pieces of hair on the lock. So this is up to you. Okay, so this is the one piece of hair. Okay, so now you start to wrap tight again around the root. Wrap it around a couple times tight so the buff won't slip out. Okay, and I'm starting with the thumb situation. down to the end again so I'm gonna fold the hair over and then start to wrap back going upward a few times grab the nail glue Ooh. Ooh. 
I'm having an extra hair back up, So this is the lock using two pieces of hair. And this is the lock using one piece of hair. They get a little skinny towards the end, but that's fine because I don't want them to look too neat and I don't want them all the same size and less. Show you one more time. I'm going to use two pieces of hair. You're done exploring your locks. You can put some hair mousse, any brand that you like. I'm just using Tresemme, extra hole. This for a little extra hole. My well, last product I'll be using is my DIY hair growth oil. So I usually oil my scalp at least twice a week when I have my protective styles in. Because of course for me a protective style is to protect my natural hair. I still want my natural hair to be healthy, my scalp and my hair while it's in its protective hairstyle. And that is it. So yesterday I twist my natural hair and that took me about two hours to do single twist throughout my whole head. And today to install a lot, it took me about four to five hours. So that's not too bad. So in total, I guess you would say around six to seven hours, two the day before, four to five the next day. Not bad. I like, it's really, really cute. Nice and messy. I just had to get used to this messy look because I'm used to nice, tight locks. But I love it. This look is everything. So, if you have any questions that I did not answer in the tutorial, of course you can leave them down below in the comment section. I will answer them. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.